Ever been stung by a bee? According to the world famous Schmidt Pain Index, there are four types of pain. Pain level one, a slightly irritating side effect, but the sting doesn't usually cause much of a problem. Pain level two is somewhat painful, often compared to a migraine or stomach cramps. Pain level three, a pretty painful sting that can throb for up to 30 minutes and can leave behind severe inflammation. And pain level four, the fourth level is the most agonizing and contains the most painful stings, compared to walking over burning coals with a nail in your foot. Next level agony for sure. How's that? I need ice. Yeah, I'll get you ice. I'll get you ice. Incredible but dangerous insects, sea creatures, mammals, and reptiles. They're right here, and today we've got 15 of the most painful animal stings you can experience. <laughs> Number 15. Sea Urchin Sting Caleb Hall was enjoying the holiday of a lifetime. One day after diving off the deck into the warm waters, he discovered he'd stepped on a sea urchin. Three small spikes were embedded in his foot. Thinking nothing of it, he picked them out and got on with enjoying his day. Three weeks later, he was paralyzed from the chest down. Specialists discovered a barb of a sea urchin embedded into his toe and that the womb had become infected. The infection spread in his bloodstream, resulting in a spinal epidural abscess, an infection that forms in the space found in any beach or coastal area in the world, in the tropics, in temperate zones, and even in polar regions. An infection caused by a venomous sea urchin will trigger several symptoms, including dizziness, breathing problems, chest pain, changes in heart rate, loss of consciousness, nausea, and vomiting. In the worst case scenario, the venom will enter the bloodstream and even cause death. People have lost their lives after stepping on sea urchins, so make sure you wear your flippers. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly! Number 14. Warrior Wasp you may think your job is a pain, but one man's work requires him to be stung more than 1,000 times by almost 85 different insect species. Justin Schmidt, an entomologist, ranks different insect stings in order to determine the toxicity and pain of each bite. Like the wasp, the warrior wasp was said to have felt like you're chained in the flow of an active volcano. So yeah, unimaginable pain. When was the last time you were chained up inside a volcano? The warrior wasp is found in the tropical forests of the Americas. They're known for their aggressive behavior, a threat display consisting of multiple insects guarding a nest beating their wings in synchronized fashion and, like we mentioned, an extremely painful sting. The sting is barbed and if used often kills the wasp, which may be the reason why such a striking defensive display is used. This display escalates from drumming inside the nest to hundreds of wasps moving to the envelope of the nest and, and continuing to drum. If this doesn't deter the threat, the wasps begin to sting. Number 13. Stonefish The stonefish can be perfectly camouflaged. They're masters at it, often looking like an encrusted rock or lump of coral, blending seamlessly into its environment. It usually waits for prey, like tiny fish or crustacea, to swim past and then strikes with incredible speed. They usually live on rubble or coral bottoms, often under rocks or ledges, but are also known to be able to bury in sand using their large pectoral fins. It's the most venomous fish in the world. The stonefish has 13 stout spines in the dorsal fin which can inject a highly toxic venom causing intense pain, believed to have killed many. The trick is to treat the stonefish sting as soon as possible. Pour hot water into the wound at a temperature no higher than 113 degrees Fahrenheit to weaken the venom's properties. Vinegar can also be used to lessen and relieve the pain and gain time before getting medical help. Remember that the stonefish venom has a toxic effect on the human body, causing changes in mean arterial pressure and heart rate, which may eventually lead to heart failure and even death, which clearly is not good. Number 12. Giant Desert Centipede You do not want to come across this beast. The desert centipede is found throughout the southern United States and into Mexico, eating such foods as insects, lizards, frogs, and rodents. Giant centipedes use structures like natostomes or natto pods to inject venom into their prey. These are paired pincer-like appendages in front of the legs. The bite is actually a pinch. 
The venom is known to act as a cytolysin, comprising cellular membranes and rupturing cells. It numbs the nervous system of insects, rendering them unable to sense or escape, while the other toxin interferes with the autonomic nervous system of vertebrates to make small vertebrates easier to subdue and devour. The exact effects and makeup of the venom have not been thoroughly evaluated, in part because it's difficult to extract in significant quantities and quickly deteriorates when processed. But the bites are very painful. For humans, a bite from a giant centipede usually causes sharp, searing local pain and swelling, but has never caused any confirmed deaths. The bites are known to occasionally cause nausea, headache, and localized skin necrosis, which is just plain gross. Number 11. Irukenji Jellyfish They may be small, but the sting of the Irukenji Jellyfish certainly packs a punch, and unfortunately, Hannah Mitchell found out the hard way. The teenager had been swimming near Goodwin Island in Western Australia when she was stung. It took 40 minutes for her mother to reach her, and when she finally did, Hannah was coughing up blood and shaking. So you gotta act quick. First aid for Irukanji stings involves pouring vinegar over the site, removing tentacles, and taking painkillers. However, the vinegar does not remedy the poison already injected. The result of a sting is severe localized pain, often associated with vigorous attempts by the patient to remove the tentacles, confusion, agitation, unconsciousness with respiratory failure, and or cardiac arrest. Due to how fast the symptoms set in, immediate first aid is vital and resuscitation may even be required. Victims often require hospitalization and serious painkillers and intravenous narcotics. These jellyfish are common in Australia, but people have suffered their stings all around the world, including in Malaysia and even the Caribbean. Number 10. Redback Spider Redback spiders are extremely common in Australia and are often found around houses and other buildings in many towns and cities. They rarely bite humans, and when disturbed, they usually try to escape or feign death by curling its legs and dropping to the ground. However, the bite of a redback spider is capable of causing death, especially in small children, and any bite should be treated with the utmost caution. The bite may produce the following symptoms. Intense localized pain with swelling and sweating starting five minutes after the bite. Pain and swelling may be experienced all over the body about a half an hour in. Headache, nausea, vomiting may occur after one hour. Perfuse sweating is also common. The following first aid is recommended. Keep patient calm, apply ice packs to minimize pain and swelling. Seek medical aid. Anti-venom will be administered if symptoms are severe. Do not use a tourniquet or restrictive bandage or excise or incise the bite. The duration of effects vary, with only moderate pain for a few hours in some cases, to severe persistent pain for two to five days. The redback spider is also known as the Australian Black Widow. Number 9. Platypus Spurs The platypus is among nature's most distinctive animals. The animal is best described as a hodgepodge of the duck, bill and webbed feet, beaver, tail, and otter, body and fur. Platypuses swim with their front feet and steer with their tails and back feet. They have waterproof fur, skin that covers their ears and eyes, and noses that seal shut to protect the animals while they are underwater. Though platypuses are made for the water, they can't stay completely submerged, and on top of that, the males are also venomous. They have a sharp stinger on their heels of their feet and can use them to deliver a strong toxic blow to any foe. The gnarly spur on the back of their hind feet that's connected to a venom secreting gland and more venom is secreted during mating season, leading researchers to think that the spurs and venom help males compete for mates. The venom is not life-threatening to humans, but it can cause severe swelling and excruciating pain. Thanks for the heads up. Don't pet the platypus. Number 8. Jack Jumper Ant Jack jumper ants may have a humorous name, but there's nothing funny about these aggressive jumping ants. The venom of a jack jumper bite can cause anaphylactic shock in approximately 3% of the population, which is believed to be approximately double the rate for any allergy of bee stings. For these people, jack jumper ant stings can lead to symptoms such as difficulty breathing, swelling of the tongue, abdominal pain, coughing, loss of consciousness, low blood pressure, and increased heart rate. The bites are potentially life-threatening, but fortunately, deaths due to stings are very rare. Jack jumper ants belong to a genus of jumping ants found in Australia. They're large ants, measuring about one half inch, although the queens are even longer. When they're threatened, jack jumper ants can jump three to four inches. 
Natural habitat for jack jumper ants is open forests and woodlands, although they can sometimes be found in more open habitats such as pastures and, unfortunately, laws and even gardens, like the ones around your house. Number 7. The Gila Monster a frightened Gila monster will open its purple gummed mouth and hiss in a theatrical display that clearly says stand back, but some people don't get the message. The Gila monster has one of the worst reputations in the reptile world. This lizard is often feared and has been described as frightful and repulsive, especially in local folklore. It's been accused of many things such as spitting venom, leaping several feet into the air to attack, stinging with its tongue, and killing people with gusts of poisonous breath. Its venom is made by a row of glands in the lizard's lower jaw. When the lizard bites, small grooves in the teeth help the venom flow into its prey. The bite of a Gila monster is very strong, and the lizard may not loosen its grip for several seconds. It may even chew so that the venom goes deeper into the wound. A Gila monster bite is painful to humans, but it rarely causes death. The biggest problem you might have is if a Gila monster bit you is trying to get the lizard to release its grip. But you really shouldn't worry, as Gila monsters tend to avoid humans and other large animals. To warn off potential predators, they open their mouth very wide and hiss, hence the bad breath. One of only two venomous lizards in the entire world, the other one being its larger cousin, the Mexican beaded lizard. Number 6. Blue Ringed Octopus The Blue Ringed Octopus looks harmless, but don't let its cuddly exterior fool you. This tiny octopus can kill you. You get stung, it's a wrap. Native to the Pacific Ocean, the blue ringed octopus can be found in the soft sandy bottom of shallow tide pools and coral reefs. If you catch them outside of their cozy hiding spots, it's easy to see how the animal gets its name. When threatened, bright blue rings appear all over its body as warning signals to predators. Although all octopuses are venomous, the blue ringed octopus is next level venomous. This golf ball sized powerhouse packs enough venom to kill 26 humans within minutes. It's no surprise that it's recognized as one of the most dangerous animals in the ocean. So what happens if you're bitten by a blue ringed octopus? First, the venom blocks nerve signals throughout the body, causing muscle numbness. Other symptoms include nausea, vision loss or blindness, loss of senses and loss of motor skills. There is no known antidote, so there's that. Be careful the next time you snorkel in the Pacific, watch out for those blue rings. Number 5. The Bullet Ant Meet the Bullet Ant Native to the western rainforests of South America, this insect is the largest ant in the world. Reaching over an inch in length, it also packs a sting 30 times more painful than a bee's. The bullet ant has many common names, however in Venezuela it's called the 24-hour ant because the pain of a sting can last a full day. The indigenous names for the ant translate to the one who wounds deeply. The pain is described as blinding, electric pain, comparable to being shot with a gun. In addition to excruciating pain, the venom produces temporary paralysis and uncontrollable shaking. Other symptoms include nausea, vomiting, fever, and cardiac arrhythmia. Despite its ferocious traits, the ant is normally quite docile towards humans and other larger animals, reserving the use of its mighty sting solely for defensive purposes. The true experts on bullet ant stings may be the Sata de Mawe of Brazil, as part of their warrior initiation rites. Teenage boys are required to adorn gloves filled with bullet ants for 10 minutes and to endure the unbelievable pain with mostly calm composure. Boys looking to become men must repeat the feat a total of 12 times. That's pretty harsh. Number 4. Executioner Wasp The name alone is scary enough, but would you volunteer to be stung by an executioner wasp? We didn't think so. This insect measures about one inch long and has a long yellow body with brown stripes wrapping around it. It's mainly found in Central and South America. They're usually non-aggressive and will only sting if taunted. However, Nathaniel Coyote Peterson knows their stings. The YouTube celebrity endures intense pain in the name of education and he recently discovered a new contender for the most agonizing insect, the Executioner Wasp. Peterson's channel currently has close to 14 million subscribers, many no doubt there to watch a grown man roll onto the ground clutching his forearm after being stung by the nightmarish wasp. Can you even imagine? An executioner wasp has an excruciating sting, something which is believed to be one of the most painful in the world. If stung, it can leave behind some nasty side effects, including the memory of that unforgettable pain. 
Number 3. Pit Viper Bites Pit vipers, such as the rattlesnake, copperhead, and cottonmouth, are poisonous and venomous snakes and are involved in an estimated 150,000 bites annually of dogs and cats. The severity of any pit viper bite is related to the volume and toxicity of the venom injected, as well as the location of the bite. There are various symptoms including pain, weakness, dizziness, nausea, severe hypotension, and thrombocytopenia. Many first aid measures have been advocated for pit viper bite victims. None has been shown to prevent morbidity or mortality. Current recommendations for first aid in the field are to keep the victim calm, keep the bite site below heart level if possible, and transport the victim to a veterinary medical facility for primary medical intervention. The patient should be hospitalized and monitored closely for a minimum of eight hours for the onset of signs of envenomation. It's important to remember that a snake only injects part of its venom with each bite, so it can still hurt you after the first strike. A dead snake, even one with a severed head, can bite and release venom through reflexes for up to 90 minutes after it dies. Come on, pit vipers! Number 2. Tarantula Hawk This is not actually about a bird. Despite their name, tarantula hawks are actually wasps, with one of the most painful stings on earth. Tarantula wasps are a spider's worst nightmare. They're named after the habit of hunting tarantulas, which are often considerably larger than themselves. But these wasps do so with little risk to their own lives. And the wasps always win. Trigger warning, the wasp is a spider-killing beast. It's the female tarantula hawk that hunts, stings, and paralyzes the tarantula. They pierce the tarantula with a sharp curved sting, rapidly injecting venom that permanently paralyzes it. However, it keeps its hairy adversary alive. She then drags it back to her lair and lays a single egg on the spider's abdomen. When the larva hatches, it burrows into the spider and starts eating it from the inside out, avoiding major organs in order to keep the poor tarantula alive for as long as possible. After several weeks of this torture, the larva pupates and emerges to start the cycle again. Just gross. When stung, the only response is to lay down and scream. <laughs> right? Number 1. Box Jellyfish Last but certainly not least, the box jellyfish. Box jellyfish are distinguished by their cube-shaped heads and their extremely potent venom. Stings from these interesting creatures are extremely painful and can be fatal to humans. Although the box jellyfish has been called the world's most venomous creature, only a few species in the class have been confirmed to be involved in human deaths. And some species pose no serious threat at all. Their venom contains toxins that attack the heart, nervous system, and skin cells. It's so overpoweringly painful, human victims have been known to go into shock and drown or die of heart failure before even reaching shore. Survivors can experience considerable pain for weeks and often have significant scarring when the tentacles make contact. The venom causes cells to become porous, which can lead to cardiovascular collapse and death as quickly as within two to five minutes. Most recent deaths in Australia have been in children, which is linked to their smaller body mass. But man, this box jellyfish is seriously worth avoiding. Just swim in the completely other direction. Those were 15 of the most painful animal stings you can ever experience. Thanks for watching.